Hello everyone and welcome back to Codebase. It's nice to have you guys back and we are about to continue our course. So, in our last video we introduced you guys to Bootstrap. So now we're going to start touching the Bootstrap one by one. That means we're going to talk about Bootstrap more and break it down into several courses that you can use. Starting with the Bootstrap Typography and Color. Sorry. Bootstrap Typography and Color. Pardon my tongue twist there. Okay, so before we carry on with the course, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. Also, don't forget you can also connect with other people who are starting out on their coding journey or those who have already started out on their coding journey on our community platform on WhatsApp. You can also follow our social media pages which will appear on this video soon. So, without further ado, let's carry on with the video and start with the bootstrap, typography and color. Basically, this is just the basics. So like I said in our last video, we introduced you guys to Bootstrap where we said, hey there, let's start Bootstrap. Okay, and remember I said when it comes to Bootstrap, you don't have to remember all the classes there. If you need the materials for your Bootstrap, it is online and it is free. Just go to the site getbootstrap.com. Oh, I'm not connected. Uh, sorry about that. So yeah, just go to this site, getbootstrap.com, go to read the docs, and that is all. Everything you need is right here. Both the colors, the text, everything you're going to need for Bootstrap is right here. If you go to typography, which is what we're about to talk about, you will learn everything about the Bootstrap text here. Both the headings text, the display headings text, the lead text, the paragraph text, the inline text. So you can see all of them here. The inline text, the text utilities, and all that. So let's begin with the basics. Let's start with the headings text. All right. So let's clear this guy out. I'm going to delete, delete these two things here. Then I'm going to change the title of my class to uh, Bootstrap Course. All right. So let's carry on now. So first things first, let us start with the display text. So we'll see bootstrap headings. Let's start with the headings of the bootstrap. So naturally, just like in HTML, our headings are the H1 to H6 tag. Bootstrap has its own H1 to H6 tag, and that's what you're about to make use of. So to apply it, what do you have to do? Simple. Just type your normal H1 tag. This is a H1 text. This is a H1 text. Come down here. H3. This is a H3 text. And I'm going to add the last one, H6. This is a H6 text. Now, if you wonder why I do this, it's simple. I'm trying to show you the. We have, just like in HTML, we have H1 to H6. Okay, so same thing in Bootstrap. It starts from H1 and ends in H6. So I'm not going to start going through it one by one. You already know that with each H tag, the number, the size of the text gets smaller down to H6. So if I go to my live preview, this is what I will see. This is the default of what I will see. However, in Bootstrap, we can override the default setting just like in normal HTML. Okay? In our normal HTML, we can make a H1 tag look smaller than a P tag. So we can do the same thing in Bootstrap here. All you have to do is give it a different class. For example, this is my H1 text. I'm going to give it the class of H6. Now, as you can see, I have not created any CSS file here whatsoever. This class of H6 exists already in my Bootstrap file. So if I give this H1 text a class of H6, if you come back to your browser, here's how it will look like. Now the H1 text is smaller than the H3, but the same size with H6 text. That is the beauty of Bootstrap right there. Okay. And if you notice, like I said, and if you notice, the font is slightly different from what we get from our normal HTML. Why? Because this is the default Bootstrap font here. So let's carry on. So the same way I can come down to this H6 and I can give it a class of H2. And my H6 will then appear bigger than the H1 and even the H3 because it has a class of H6, therefore it is bigger. It's not too complex as you can see. Very simple. Alright, this also applies to normal paragraph text. Let us say I create a normal P tag. 
and I give it low M, let's say low M6. Then I come to this low M6 and give it a class of let's say H1. If I come back to my browser, my paragraph text will be bigger than the H6, the H3, and even the H1 that exists there. So you can see that now. It's a very simple stuff, not too complex. Let's carry on. So now that we're done with the bootstrap heading, let us now it, let me introduce to you guys something bootstrap newly added, which is the bootstrap display. That is this display headings here. It's another way of making your headings appear the bigger and in a sense thinner. So as you can see here, we have the display one to the display six. All right. So let's carry on with that. Let's do the same thing. You know what? I'm not even going to stress. I'm just going to copy everything here for what it is. I'm going to click copy to the clipboard. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to see bootstrap display headings. Paste it. Call me lazy, but copy and paste is allowed in coding. Let's say I haven't told you. Now, if you notice, everything here is in the H1 tag. But like I said, they are all giving a different class of display. And we have display 1 to 6, just like we have H1 1 to 6. And what the display tag does is that it allows our text to be displayed in a different format on Bootstrap. That is, your text to be somewhat bigger and thinner. It to be thinner than the regular H1 tag, the, the regular H tag. So let's go and look at it. So everything here is H1, but it will appear differently. And if we go back to our website, you can see it. We have display one, which is the first H1, and display six, which is the last H1. And if you notice, this display six is almost the same size as this display two here. Right? This is display two, display or uh, sorry, that should be H1. Sorry, it's almost the same size as our H1 tag right here. <clears throat> that is because in Bootstrap, this display tag is you know bigger than the H1. That's just all. It's not, there's no, I'm not going to go into in-depth complex explanation about it. You can come here and read it more. The display traditional heading elements are designed to work best in the midst of your page content. Where you need a heading to stand out inside your page content, use a display heading. So the reason for this is that your browser recognizes H1 text, that's H1 to H6 text as page headings. But when you need something to display as a heading better, you can just use the H1 tag. And you can actually apply both H1 and display headings to a single text. For example, this is my h1 text has a display of six i can still give it a this class of display of six and um, a class of h3 and let's go to the browser and see how it appears oh that didn't work pardon me i made a slight error there it's i can just make it slightly bold by giving it fw bold this fw stands for font width and if you come back to the browser my display switch will be thicker that is all so let's carry on. That is the display heading in Bootstrap. So let's move on to the next part. And the next part, sorry, and the next part we're going to talk about is the Bootstrap. After display headings, we have the Bootstrap lead text. Now, what is this lead text? It makes a you can make a paragraph stand out by adding the lead text. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to put a paragraph here. So I say Bootstrap lead and paragraph text so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to put a class of i'm going to put a normal regular p tag oh, pardon me that is that is just terrible i'm going to give it lower than 10 because i'm feeling good then i'm going to put another p tag but give it a class of lead and give it the same lower than 10 And if I come back to my browser and check my two texts, this is how they look like. The class, you can see clearly that the P tag that has the class of lead, the font became bigger. Why? Because of the class of lead. The main thing is this class of lead uses to catch the attention of your audience in your content. That is, if you're, if you're typing like a blog and you want to use a, have a text that shows, displays like a title that will capture all the audience's attention, you can make it of the lead tag in this scene and the lead class, pardon me, in this scenario. That is just all. This is the regular P tag. This is the lead text. It is not a big deal. It is you know pretty simple. And like I said, you don't have to remember everything. You can see me right here. I'm coming to the site here just to get the materials back. I don't need to do this because I remember all this. I'm just trying to show you how easy it is easy it is to use Bootstrap. Okay, you don't have to cram all these commands. And no, just come back to the site, look at it again. 
then carry on with your work the only thing is the more you practice it the better you get we have the inline text element which is the highlight text line through and everything i'm just going to copy everything and explain as well so copy okay we're going to talk about the bootstrap inline text elements or just text styles doesn't matter and i'm going to paste that no move all this move all this just so it carry on like this we'll just say p norm five okay good so i'm going to show you how you can easily start different kind of text in you know bootstrap so i'll give this one a class of text decoration on the line and if i give this class and i come back to my browser clearly my text will be on the line i don't have to type any css for you right now i don't even have to use the u tag let's go back here i'm going to copy this guy and i'm going to paste him right here and i'm going to change this little guy called on the line to line through i'm going to come back here and get your text with the line through it there are also different styles you can apply you can go back to the website to look at the different styles you can apply to your text here it will tell you everything about it you know what i'm not even going to touch <laughs> I'm not lazy, it's just there's no point in touching everything because you guys will still do it by yourself. But you know, you get what I mean though. It's pretty easy. Bootstrap is just is a sweet feature, it just allows you to build your website faster. It gives you a framework so that you don't even have to type the media query for your web page anymore. Bootstrap takes care of everything. All you have to do is call out the name of the class and let it take the wheel in this scenario. So pardon me for you know being a little bit on serious. It's just how the site works, it's just how you know easy and laid back. No, let me not say laid back easy and you know sweet it is to use bootstrap so let's carry on with the work so more on this inline text elements let's see hmm. oh yeah i didn't show you guys how to align text in bootstrap pardon me so as you can see naturally when we type any text in bootstrap it is aligned to the left side of the screen it is aligned to the left side of the screen However, we can make our text come to the center and to the right side of the screen simply by calling out the necessary class for it. And what is the necessary class in this scenario? Let's come right here. Uh, let me add um, and text alignment here. Come here. I'm going to type a P tag. I'm going to give it P text start. This. Uh, there's no point in giving it text start actually. I'm just going to give it text center. This text will stay. This text will appear at the center of the page. I'm going to copy you. Come down. Paste. I'm going to say text um, end. This one will appear at the right side of the page. And last but not least, text starts. But I don't see the point. This will appear at the left side of the page. So, with this, if you come back to your browser to check it out, you can clearly see that your text is appearing on the center the right and the left side now by default all texts has it this has a text to start with it Def by default all your text starts from the left side of the web page so we don't actually need to put this text that you're seeing right here you don't actually need to put it but it's just necessary nonetheless okay it is necessary when needed but by default all your text already has a text start feature so i'm just going to leave this one as text right here you know it doesn't do much and i'm going to come back here and my text is still on the left it didn't affect it in any way so let's carry on and go to so just like html let's do the small text 
So I'm going to say small. This text will be small. And I come back to the browser right here. You can see the text is small, but just to clarify, I'm going to show you how small it is. I'm going to take this small looking text and I'm going to paste it right next to this P tag that is here. You know, let's put it in between it. Let's put it in between. Okay, near it and in between as well. And if I come back to my browser, you can see clearly just how small the small text is. You can see it right here. The small text here is smaller than the regular P tag. This is it in com and this is the small text in comparison to the lead text. So for when you need small text, use the small tag just like in HTML. Again, nothing too complex. Pretty easy. Let's carry on. So next we're going to talk about the text colors, bootstrap text colors. And just like the name suggests, what the text color does is that it changes the color of our text. Now bootstrap already has a pretty, a pretty um, predetermined set of, set of colors you can make use that you can apply to it or use for it. But if the colors are not satisfactory by your standards, you can actually use your own CSS, that like is external CSS. You can create a CSS file and apply the colors you want to your elements. It is up to you. There's still much, much, there's still a whole lot more freedom using Bootstrap and CSS together. In fact, it is best to use Bootstrap and CSS together. It gives you a wonderful result at the end. Let's carry on. So we have our Bootstrap tech colors. And what it does is we, we change the colors of our text and, you know, change how they want to appear. So I'm going to copy this whole display text that is right here because I'm too lazy to type. And yes, I'm allowed to be lazy to type. Copy and paste is allowed. Don't judge me. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these classes. Since they are H1, I don't need to change anything. I'll just change the display here. I'll give it a class of text primary. Now. If you want to know the bootstrap text colors, all you have to do is go back to your site and go to colors. Now, these colors that I'm about to show you doesn't just apply to text, it applies to all the colors in bootstrap. Okay, and the, the set of colors they have is these colors here. They are theme colors. This is the bootstrap default theme colors that applies to all their elements. Okay, there's the primary color, the secondary color, the success color, danger, warning, info, light, and dark. Those are the bootstrap colors we have okay and just as you're seeing the name here that is the name of the class as well so if you want to tag, if you want to give if you want to give your element a bootstrap color of primary all you have to do is give it a class of primary that is all and what do i mean by that come back here i give it text dash primary that means i want this display one to be blue in color and that is what i get but let's carry on we are not done i'm going to change this display to here Let's copy this guy and paste him here. I'm going to change you to secondary. I'm going to change you. Uh, what's the other color that is there? Success. Let's go. Success. The next color should be one in. Oh, sorry, danger. After text danger, we shall have text warning. After text warning, we should have text light. After the text light, let me copy this too. We should have text dark. And there's one last color we forgot I, that wasn't mentioned and that is text muted now what is muted we do is that to make the text color appear faint that is just basically what it does it makes the text color appear faint naturally bootstrap text has a darkish color to it but if you give it a class of text muted your text color will appear somewhat faint let's just go and look at it and so you can see if i come back to my browser i go back to them right here I scroll down you can see my text it is looking good now this is the last one here that has the bootstrap text muted feature right here right that's display 5 okay now this light here is for display this one here is display lights it's not as transparent as display 5 I know what you mean but you can see the color is not as black as display 5 over here or the other text the color is slightly different it is off 
that is the text meter color right there there's actually no biggie to it it's just pretty simple pretty nice and these colors applies for you know like i said the colors and the bootstrap team colors they apply to a majority of the bootstrap elements you're going to make use of even when you're using the icons okay so let's move on to the next part and talk about the bootstrap boots and um, the bootstrap background colors yes bootstrap background colors so again lazy nigger don't judge me i'm going to take all these guys and i'm going to paste them here i'm allowed to be lazy copy and paste is allowed i've always said this so don't judge me <laughs> all right let's not play around so let us introduce you to the background colors now as you already know our text already has its color but what if we want to put our text on a colored background just like we did in css well all we have to do is give it a class of bg sorry bg sorry about that so <clears throat> this text is already this one already has a text of primary but i will give it a class of bg warning no sorry let's give it a class of danger okay warning 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 info okay, info info no 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 warning yes and if i come back to my browser here boom this guy has a yellow background on a blue a blue text on the yellow background that is the one that had the warning tag and this text primary day i don't i'm not going to buy removing this i'm just going to mix it up for you guys so let's take let's you know apply the dark colors bg warning for the secondary that is the the secondary should be which color <gasps> the gray color good i'm going to give it bg primary Yeah, let's mix it up and you can see it's blue barely visible but that's not the point for the success which is green oh i've already made this of yellow okay bg info thank you for the guy who is red i'm going to use bg dark Thank you very much. And for this guy who is yellow, I've used one in I've used primary, I've used info, I have used dark. Let me confirm the colors again. <coughs> Sorry. I haven't used secondary. So let's use secondary for the guy that is yellow. I'll say BG secondary. And now I come back to the browser here. You can see the grayish background it has. And this is my BG light. This is my text light. So I'll give it a BG dark. Hmm. And I'll put it to your black for the intelligence. Then I'll give this guy a BG light. Although you guys won't see much BG light. And if you come back to your browser, boom. Each one has their own background color. I used the dark twice. Interesting. Which color did I miss then? Primary success, secondary success, danger warning. Primary one in info dark secondary ah uh, yes I'm going to keep the text dark BG success and we're gonna come back here yep it's gonna be green so that is all on our bootstrap typography and text there's still more to it but if you want to learn more just go to the site and read up on it it is all there it is all free you don't have to panic or wait for someone to come and you know walk you through it although that's what i did but that's not what i mean what i mean is you can easily access this thing go to your getbootstrap.com reach the document come down to this left side here and you know look for whatever you need whether it's whether it be typography or the colors or the fonts it's all here for you to make use of and we are still going to teach you guys here at codevis and we had this with this we have come to the end of the video we didn't touch the list elements we'll touch that one later in the video don't worry about it but like i said we have come to the end of today's topic we loved having you guys here thank you guys so much for your support and thank you guys for your continuous watching we appreciate the comments and all that please if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask we beg of you we love to interact with our viewers ask your questions we'll answer you for those that are waiting for us to enter the more advanced section we'll still enter there we are starting from the beginning for both the beginners we are taking everybody along this wonderful tech journey through web development so we are done with the video 
please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you love this video please like it if you love code this and what we do subscribe to our channel that is the way you're showing us your support we don't want your money Biko. we want your support okay also if you have any web development job or any tech related job you need someone else to, someone to do for you be it software development app development web development graphics design ui ux projects data analysis related projects please don't hesitate to contact us our line is right there or you can just contact us directly or chat us directly on whatsapp through the link that will be in the description of this video once again this has been code thank you for watching and do not have a nice day